Governor Scott would reduce Florida's already anemic per pupil spending by 10% or $700 per student. What would that mean to Orange County schools if the legislature doesn't scale back the cut? It would lose $100 million? It would, and it would be a, a dramatically um, uh, uh, adverse cut for us to have to try to, to try to deal with. Could there be layoffs? Yeah. There will not be layoffs of certified teachers. At least that's a position that, that I'm taking as a school board chair. Um, you know, whether the rest of the board goes along with that position or not, time will tell. We may have to look at benefit freezes. We may have to look at uh, slight rollbacks in salaries. Uh, but it's really too early to tell. Could curriculum suffer as a result? Um, I, I think I speak for the entire board when I say that we're determined that curriculum will not suffer. Do you believe it's unconscionable for Governor Scott in this environment to ask for a $507 million school property tax cut? I do. Governor Scott loves to talk about jobs. Governor Scott loves to talk about economic development. Well, anybody who knows anything about economic development will tell you that the single most important factor in developing a state's economy is the quality of its public school system. With the proposed funding cuts and enrollment up statewide, what happens with class size caps and the financial penalties districts face for not meeting them? I think that we will get class size flexibility this year out of the legislature. And I think it will be flexibility in terms of defining and limiting class size restrictions to core academic courses. I have no doubt that the unions, the teacher unions, will challenge that legislation in court. Is it time for teachers to contribute to their pensions? Yes. I accept the unions don't feel the same way. No, they don't. And I, and I think 5% is far too high, but let's, let's, let's be honest. The era of the defined benefit pension is coming to an end in this country. The truth of the matter is the state can no longer afford a defined benefit pension plan with no contribution from its employees. And, and uh, I think it's going to be a slow, hopefully responsible, gradual transition into employee contributions of some percentage. Um, I don't think it's going to be 5% this year, though. Let's talk about SB 736, the teacher merit pay bill. In 2014, new hires would get one-year contracts and raises based on performance. Poor evaluations could lead to dismissal based in large part on student test performance. Uh, districts would need to develop separate criteria to judge teachers not teaching core curricula, and teachers' unions are opposed. Is this uh, proposal right or wrong for Orange County. I want to make very, very clear on this point that I'm speaking only for myself as, as chair of the board and I'm not speaking for the entire board. But I support merit pay for teachers and, and I think the bill that's been crafted is something that will be good for education in the long run. We've got to find a way to pay great teachers to stay in the classroom. I think sometimes where the union loses touch with mainstream America is mainstream America is paid across the board on the evaluation of, of the supervisor. Governor Scott and the legislature also may make it easier for charter schools to expand this session. Orange County has had its share of problems with uh, some of its charter schools. There have been problems with oversight. Uh, there's been um, a problem with some charter schools dodging obligations, performance issues as well. Is it wise to make it easier for charter schools to expand, both in Orange County as well as the state? I, I think the governor, from what I can discern or tell from reading the, the, the newspaper, believes that charter schools are a silver bullet solution to everything he believes else, American public education. Uh, I don't share that belief. I, I think charter schools can be part of the solution. We have some very good charter schools. We have some very poor charter schools. What the governor needs to do, what the legislature needs to do, is he needs to give districts the uh, authority to meaningfully monitor the performance of charter schools and to go in there and revoke a charter more quickly when a school is failing.